And in the state known for live free or die, a mask mandate goes into effect tomorrow. The governor is hoping that it'll help keep the economy open and ensure that hospitals don't get overwhelmed. But as WBZ's Tiffany Chan reports, not everyone's happy about it. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu said he put this mask mandate in place to help with the economy, but one business owner here in Epping says it's doing everything but. The state will be enacting a statewide mask mandate. Uh, and obviously a decision that did not come lightly. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu blames the recent spike in coronavirus cases, forcing residents to mask up in public by midnight Friday. It's garbage. Joe Bodge, owner of Roseland Homemade Ice Cream and Diner in Epping, New Hampshire, has been a vocal opponent of the mask mandate, telling us it goes against everything that they and the state stands for. That's what America was originally built on. That's what New Hampshire has always tried to tout, that. You know, people could make choices. They even closed up shop, refusing to mask up at their own business. But some agree with Governor Sununu's move. Surprised it took this long. Telling us masking up sooner could have prevented this COVID surge. For people that can't wear it for five minutes running into a store, I don't buy it. Wear a mask. Save yourself, save other people. As the motto goes around here, live free or die. Bodge says he doesn't mind if patrons want to wear a mask, but he shouldn't be the one enforcing it. Because it goes completely against our belief that people should not be forced to do something they don't believe in. And for the owners of Roseland Ice Cream and Diner, they say that they refuse to open their doors unless the mask mandate is gone. From Epping, New Hampshire, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.